Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Another month has bitten the dust and we are now basically in February of 2022. I feel like I'm gonna wake up and both my girls are gonna be in college and I'm gonna be 70 years old. Like I just, my life, all of our lives I know is going so fast, but I do have some favorites that I wanna to talk to y'all about from the month of January. And the first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is something that y'all have been asking so much about. So this portion of the video is in collaboration with Ana Luisa Jewelry. If you don't know, I am a brand ambassador for them. I have talked about them for well over a year now, probably close to two years. I absolutely love their jewelry. It's basically, aside from my wedding ring, the only jewelry that I wear. And they are currently running a kind of Valentine's Day special where if you buy one, you get one at 40% off, which I think is amazing because let's face it, Valentine's Day, some people think it's like a marketing holiday. Some people go all out for Valentine's Day. It's a holiday based around love, right? Well, sometimes I just want to give myself some love and buy myself some jewelry. And I think that it's a perfect time to do that for yourself and for the ones you love. And being able to get one for you and one for someone else at a discount is huge. If you aren't familiar with Ana Luisa jewelry, they are very luxury pieces at very affordable prices. They are a carbon neutral brand, not only in their products, but in their packaging. All of your jewelry comes in these cute little pouches, which I keep all my pouches and I like to put jewelry in these when I travel. I think it's a nice little way to make sure you don't damage anything, but also to make sure you don't lose it. So the reason I say so many of y'all have been asking is because I have been wearing this particular necklace for the past couple of weeks in Instagram videos, in YouTube videos, and I have gotten so many DMs about it. And many of you say that you went ahead and purchased it because you love it so much. This is the Jacob necklace. And I hope you can see it is the most dainty, gorgeous cubic zirconium cross I think I've ever seen. I have said many times before, I do not wear big pieces of jewelry. I prefer smaller ones like this to me. And in my experience, smaller pieces like this have an even bigger impact than ones that are like loud and in your face. I feel like I get the most compliments when I wear pieces like this. So again, this is called Jacob. And then I also have these earrings that I have worn on camera before. And somebody, oh, actually two of y'all said that you went ahead and bought these as well. These are the Lyra earrings, L-Y-R-A. It's the other kind of chain link and they are cubic zirconium. They have a little bit of a sway to them, but they are not heavy. They are not in your face, but they are more of an elegant piece because of the bling. So you can dress this up or dress this down. I've worn it with sweatshirts. I would wear it out to a more formal event. I think it's absolutely perfect, especially for those of us who don't like heavy or big earrings. Now, I also got another necklace that I wanna share with you, and the name of this one is Will. So again, another dainty piece, and I don't want dainty to come off as negative, but it's like a rectangle, beautiful sparkle to it. So, so, so very pretty. And again, this one is called Will. Another reason I love their necklaces is because at least all the ones I have, you have the option of two larger hooks in the back so you can make it smaller or longer depending on whatever you are wearing it with. So cannot recommend Ana Luisa, Ana Luisa enough. Y'all know if you've been watching me for any amount of time how much I love them and this sale is a perfect time to get something for you and the ones you love. All right, let's get into some favorites. I have makeup, a couple skincare and one random. Let's start with makeup. Let's start with the foundation that I have on today. I did a little poll on Instagram and it had this foundation and the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation. And I kind of wanted y'all's guess as to which one I was loving more because I had mentioned in my story that I was really liking one way more than the other. So it was really close. It was almost 50-50, but it was about 57% Charlotte Tilbury over the Chanel number no. one day Chanel foundation tint. This is Chanel. It does have fragrance in it. It's 
pretty far down on the list, but I know there are a few watchers of mine that won't do anything with fragrance, so I want to let you know about that. But this is a more, they claim it as more luminous, but on me, it's not super luminous. I definitely have way more dewy looking foundations than this one. It's more of a natural, it's a little bit luminous on my skin. And it does have oils in it. So if you have oily skin and you'd like to stay away from products that have added oils, this might not be for you. But this works really, really well on my normal to dry skin. It is a tint, so it has a sheer to light coverage. I get more of a light coverage, but it's definitely not medium or full by any means. And it just wears really well on my skin throughout the day. It makes my skin look better as the day goes on versus getting too glowy or too oily looking or patching off or caking up. It doesn't do that. It just, as it sinks into the skin, almost looks better. Now, I got the shade B30, which is typically my shade in Chanel, but I wanna show you a quick comparison to the only other Chanel foundation that I have, because honestly, typically Chanel foundations don't work for me, but they have this past month or two months. And this is the Ultra Latent Ultra Comfort or Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Foundation. So these are both in B30. And this one right here on top is the Ultra Wear. And then on bottom is the new number one tint. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see this. The Ultra Wear is warmer. The B30 in that is warmer than the number one foundation. So keep that in mind. I still think that if you're B30 in one, you're gonna be B30 in another. Just know that it is more neutral than the Latent if you have that one. But for those of y'all who picked Chanel, in that Instagram poll, you were correct. I have been loving it. Another product that I've been loving is the Rare Beauty Setting Powder. I, thought, I felt like this had a different name, but it just says Setting Powder on the bottom. And this is for a different reason than y'all might think. I used the Light Medium in a Playing With New Makeup this past month. And while I enjoyed it, somebody had asked me on that video, have I tried it under my eyes? I had not, so I'm like, well, let me try that. So I try the light medium under my eyes and I really like how it looks. So I repurchased it in light. And that is my favorite this month, is how it looks under the eyes. Light is definitely a better color for me under the eyes than light medium. And I used the light medium in my last Instagram Get Ready With Me, which I post every week if you're not aware. I used it with my normal Wayne Goss brush that I have set my under eyes with for years. For some reason, when I got the light, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna see what that's like. And so I put a little bit in the top and I had my damp elf sponge and I put it in and picked up some powder, pressed it into the under eye. I, I just don't think I can go back. Y'all, I really, at least with this powder, it is beautiful. I have never had a powder. Now, let me preface this to say, I have had plenty of powders that I set my under eyes with that I love, that don't make my under eyes look worse. But I have never had a powder that makes my under eyes look better than before I put a powder on. And this, to me and my under eyes, makes it look better when I apply it with a damp beauty blender and press it under my eyes. It's fabulous. It has a little bit of a luminosity to it. I, I feel like when I use it with a sponge, it has less luminosity than when I use it with a brush. And it just smooths everything out, puts this like filtered effect under the eyes, but sets it really, really well. So if you're wondering how I like this under the eyes, now you know. Another new item that I played with in the Playing New Makeup that quickly became a favorite is the new Dior Quint. I got both of the new colors. So I got 719 Organza, which is what I have on my eyes today. Beautiful, beautiful. It's what I used in that Playing When You Makeup. And then I also got 839 Pope Line. If you wanna see this in action, I have a highlight, get ready with me on my Instagram. It is labeled Dior Pope Line, so you'll be able to find it very easily where I use this. So you'll be able to see both of these in action depending on what video you choose. I love both of them. If I had to pick one, I would go with Organza because peach is my favorite. <laughs> I love it so much and I just can never go wrong with peaches for my coloring and my eye color but they are both fabulous. If you are in the 
market for two new ones that are very, to me, spring appropriate, but I will wear these all year round. I really recommend these. I love the Dior Quint formula. I feel like they're very forgiving, even on mature eyelids where we may have some crinkling hap happening that we don't want anything accentuated. I find the formulas to be very, very, very forgiving and very easy to work with. So wanted to talk about those. So that is all of the makeup favorites. I have already gotten a very exciting new foundation product <laughs> to share with y'all in an upcoming review. Y'all, I think it may actually make it into my top five upon first impression. It was so good. So stay tuned for that. It will definitely be my favorites next month, but that's kind of all I have for makeup. Let's go into a couple of new skincare products that I've been trying out and loving. The first is from Truth Treatments. Now, is that a surprise to you? I pretty much love everything they put out. Love Truth Treatments. Their vitamin C serum is the best for my skin. I have used it for years and I'll never be without it. This is the new Resurfix 1% Retinol Serum. I got this from Freeze Co Beauty, so check that out. I will have it linked down below. This is basically the serum version of their retinol gels. I have used the retinol gels in the past and I have seen great results from them, but I feel like the serum is even easier to use. It's not as intimidating as the gels can be because if you're, especially if you're someone that's not used to using that kind of formula, you're kind of like, where do I put it? How is it supposed to work? I feel like serum is much easier to use than the gel. So I love that they came out with the serum version. I have been mixing this up, y'all. I'm still using my Curology. I am still using that Medicaid. <laughs> but I honestly use this twice a week and the way that I'm doing it by the time I use Curology Medicate This Exfoliate, Curology Medicate This Exfoliate, I'm using this two times a week and I love it. It definitely turns over your skin, but it's not irritating at all. So if you're someone who just can't use tretinoin creams or Retin-A's or anything like that, I would definitely look into this. If you want a whole separate review, of this product. I'm happy to film a video of that. Just let me know, but I have really been enjoying it. Another product, this was sent to me by La Roche-Posay and it is their Cicaplast Barrier Repairing Cream. And I have been loving this for my hands because it's cold, right? So when I go outside, it's cold. When I'm inside, the heater really just sucks all the moisture out of my skin. It does that every single year. And my hands start to crack. They start to feel very uncomfortable, just not fun to look at or feel, right? So I have been using this balm every night before I go to bed, sometimes in the morning, depending, but it is a very thick balm. It's very occlusive. It looks and feels a lot like Vaseline, but to me, it sinks in even better than Vaseline and Aquaphor, but it kind of has that same balmy texture. And when I use this at night and wake up in the morning, my hands are soft and smooth, and I can use this throughout the day because again, it sinks in well enough to where it's not going to hinder me from using my hands for any reason for a certain amount of time after applying it. And I just really like it. So thank you, La Roche-Posay. Out of all the things they sent me, this is my favorite. And then one more kind of random thing. This is an Instagram ad made me buy it product. <laughs> Let's not lie to ourselves and say that we have not gotten sucked in from Instagram ads in some form or fashion. And I feel like the second you click on one of the profiles from one of those ads, Instagram automatically gets alerted. Their algorithm's like, beep, beep, beep. she clicked on it, she clicked on it. And then they have so many more pop up. I'm guilty, it's happened. But this one I clicked on and it really interested me. So I ordered this sample pack. This is Primal Coffee Creamer. So a little short kind of synopsis. The creator said that she created this alternative creamer to support her dad. His new lifestyle was dependent on maintaining blood sugar balance, but he struggled to find an option that fit with his new goals and tasted like his old sweetened creamed coffee. Primal now serves others who love their coffee treat, are flavor fanatics, but who, also con who are also conscious of their food choices. I'm excited to share this with you and cannot wait to bring wholesome joy to your original ritual. So this is a small sample pack. I got the, I think it was like the holiday sampler or something. It was four of these in different flavors, plus a scoop and a frother, like a milk frother. 
Um, this is the salted caramel, which is my favorite flavor. And it, I mean, it's just, it's sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. It's got coconut oil and MCT oil in it. So it basically is great if you are on keto. I'm not on keto. I do like to go lower carb, but I'm definitely not in ketosis by any means, but it's so good. And I do feel like I have to, because it is pretty clumpy. And I feel like reading through the comments, that was the biggest kind of complaint or not necessarily complaint, but just like, how do I get this to work? So what I've done, what I do is I put the serving size in the bottom of my coffee mug, which I don't drink coffee out of mugs. I drink it out of the big old travel mugs. That's my favorite way <laughs> to drink coffee because I drink too much of it. And I will put that the serving size in the bottom, I'll pour some almond milk on top. And then I use the frother to froth it up just a little bit. I don't care if it's like actually frothy. I just feel like it mixes it up really well. And then I pour my coffee on top of it. I don't need any extra sweetener or creamer or anything like that. It's got one net carb in it. Really, really good. So just, I mean, it's a small business. If you want to support small business, I really like what this founder is doing. I love that she took a need of a family member and made a business out of it. I'm kidding. I have more than one random. Sorry about that. I completely set this off to the side and forgot about it. And this is from the brand Otherland. Look at how pretty that box is. This is a candle company. They sent this to me. I have to show you. Look at how pretty this is. The presentation is fabulous. So you open the box, it opens that way too. You pull this off and you have this little mini set of candles. One of them is currently burning in my other room, but this is a candle company that until they sent it to me, I wasn't fully aware of them other than seeing some in the new arrival section of Sephora. So they do have some of their full size options on Sephora, but then if you order from their actual website, they have these bundle sets as well. I think they currently have like a Valentine's set. They ha they still have this mini set on there. There's just more options on their actual website. But for being such small candles in this mini set, the throw in your house or in a room is great. So I can only imagine that the full size candles are gonna be even better so just an overview real quick of the scents. This is Chandelier, which is champagne, saffron, and leather. Oh, I can smell that um, leather. So, so nice. This is Kindling, which is Alaskan cedar, smoky embers, and incense. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Chad, Chad loves this one when he smelled them all. These are coconut and soy-based candles also. This is Daybed. It's not my favorite only because it has rosebud, peony blossom, and pear water, and I'm not a rose fan, and I definitely get that in this. But if you are a rose fan, you'll love it. Canopy is California fig, ivy greens, and summer dew. Definitely a spring scent to me. Very fresh. And then the one that I'm burning right now and is probably my favorite out of all of them is Rattan and it's sandalwood, golden amber, and warm musk. Now, when you look at their other scents, they have so many that I wanna try. One of them in particular is vintage lipstick. Oh my goodness. With violet and cherry, oh, like right up my alley. So I wanted to share this with you, not only because I really, again, like the scents of the candles, I feel like for the size, the throw is really nice, but also because can you get a prettier gift for somebody? The presentation is out of this world. So I did want to talk about that because I love them. All right, that wraps up my favorites. I really appreciate y'all watching. Please don't forget to check out my link to the Ana Luisa sale down in the description box below so you can get your buy one, get one for 40% off. And also let me know what you were loving in the month of January. I will be back in a few days in my next video, so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of those. And please like this video if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out on this YouTube algorithm. So I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane, and that most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.